y'all. So for today's video, I have my pre-sprouted ranunculus and anemones. And I apologize for the outside noise. We have people working here again today and it's a little bit loud. However, they're gonna be here for the next couple of days and I really needed to get this video done. So I decided to go ahead and knock it out. So again, I apologize for the commotion outside. However, as you can see, I have the ranunculus on the left and the anemones on the right side. And I have a lot of growth on the ranunculus. I'm really happy with it. Um, both of these corms, the ranunculus and the anemone corms were both mixes. So I have a few different rates of pre-sprouting. I have about eight ranunculus corms that haven't pre-sprouted but they don't feel mushy, they don't have mold on them, they do feel viable. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant those up and just hope that because this was a mix, they are different varieties and maybe they just need a little bit more time. And the same with the anemones. So I'm going to get these upsized to bigger plots today and I'll show you guys how I do that. But first, let me show you the actual corms. So check this guy out. It's huge and look at all of those growth points and all of those roots. I'll be very curious to see what color this turns out as and, and see if I can figure out what variety it is. So here is one of the corms that wasn't pre-sprouted. Again, no mold, moist, but not squishy, not doesn't feel rotten. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these and I will tag them with a question mark just so that I know that these guys were the questionable ones. So the anemones, I don't have quite as much growth on the anemones, but let's see if I can get this to focus here. You can see all those little growth points on there. So not quite as much growth as the ranunculus, but growth nonetheless. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these potted up and I'll show you how I do it. So in these larger trays, I have them each filled up with about one third soil. So I will place the anemone and ranunculus corms growth point up in these trays and I will fill the remaining two thirds of the pot with potting soil. So I'll go ahead and do that now and I'll show you guys the process. And this little guy right here, he, it broke off one of the corms when I was pre-sprouting. It's really tiny, but it broke off one of the corms and I decided to go ahead and pre-sprout uh, pre it and see if I got anything out of it and it worked. All right, you guys, so same thing for the anemones here. All right, so now that I've got these all potted up and 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the remainder of the soil on top of them. And then after that's done, I'm going to go ahead and water these guys. And then I'm gonna put them in a sunny location, no dome on these at this point. And we should start seeing some growth in the next probably, hopefully week or two or so. And after I get the soil put on top of these trays, I will show you the seed update because we have some updates on the seeds and on the sweet peas specifically, so. Okay, and I'm gonna repeat the process for the next two trays, but I did want to show you guys the progress. On the sweet peas, so get here in front, you can see a little bit of germination in these guys. Not a whole lot, but sweet peas generally take seven to 21 days so there's a little bit of germination there are two seeds in each of these pods so hope to have some sweet peas soon and as for the experimental tray where i experimented with a whole bunch of different types of seeds and a whole bunch of different germination rates and times and no heating pad and no grow light, this is what I got. Everything that I planted germinated, even though it has a different, technically a different temperature requirement um, and germination times. I mean, there were definitely some seeds that germinated sooner than others, but I'm glad I experimented with that because my experiment definitely worked. So I can save some space in trays from now on and seed multiple different varieties of seeds in each container. So that's pretty exciting. I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. So as for the ranunculus and the anemones, I am going to repeat the process by filling the rest of the trays up all the way. And I'm gonna take those outside, I'm gonna water them in, and I'm gonna sit them in the sun out here in this room and hope for the best. <laughs> 